Like his contemporary Philip Kotler, Theodore Levitt started his academic life as an economist. His 1960 Harvard Business Review article, Marketing Myopia, is seen as a landmark of the discipline, though he described it as a manifesto. However, he is best known for the word globalization, a word that he is rumored to have coined, but he didn't. However, he was instrumental in the word globalization coming to prominence in the 1980s. In Marketing Myopia, Theodore Levitt argued that organizations should no longer think of themselves as producers of goods or services. Instead, they should see themselves as buyers of customers. So they create their goods and services as a way to tempt customers into a commercial relationship. Their role, therefore, is to create customers and to maintain customers. And he developed this argument from his Harvard Business Review article into his book, The Marketing Imagination, which came out in 1983. There, he defines the purpose of a corporation as to create and keep a customer. As a result, Levitt argues, marketing must pervade the whole of an organization's strategy and it must balance out the other aspects of what it does, production and operations. His favourite example was railways. Think of what a railway does. Levitt argued that railway owners should stop thinking about their purpose as being a provider of a railway and its services. Instead, they should think of themselves as organisations that are able to move people from where they are to where they want to be. In this, Levitt was very much influenced by Peter Drucker, who argued that marketing is not just a function of an organization, it's its business. To illustrate this idea, Levitt developed a simple marketing matrix, which charts on one axis its inward company orientation, and on the other axis, its outward customer orientation. The ideal place for an organization to sit is, of course, at the top right hand corner. To explain how to do this, Levitt wrote his 1976 Harvard Business Review article, The Industrialization of Service. In that, he argued that we need to apply the same rigors to customer service as we do to product manufacturing. This includes things like repeatability, monitoring and quality control. He also introduced the concept, now very familiar to us, of relationship marketing, the role of marketing in developing and building and strengthening and maintaining relationships with your customers. This has, of course, spawned a whole discipline of customer relationship management and all the software tools that go with it. And we have a video that explains CRM if you need to have a look at it. Levitt's other big contribution was the idea of globalization of markets. He addressed this in another Harvard Business Review article, this time in 1983. It was called The Globalization of Markets. In this, he returned to his first discipline of economics and argued that two vectors will shape the world, the vector of technology and the vector of globalization. Two powerful moves that were going to influence the way the world shaped itself through the end of the 20th century and into the 21st century. He foresaw accurately that technology would drive a uniformity throughout global markets. To survive and to outcompete their competitors, organizations would need to embrace this technology and all that it can offer. And they would use it to create efficiencies and standardization. 
he saw the need for efficiency and standardization as outweighing the need for local customizations, which would create inefficiencies and a huge different set of product variations. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you organizations like Apple and Samsung, Starbucks, Toyota, and Google. This position got Levitt into a very public debate with the other towering figure of marketing that was his contemporary, Philip Kotler. And I talked about that in our earlier video on Philip Kotler. Kotler, of course, understood the value of globalization, but he also saw the importance of market customization to meet local needs, preferences, and desires. Whilst he didn't invent the idea of globalization, Levitt properly foresaw its impact and the impact of technology and how the two would come together. He also correctly foresaw the impact of treating services in the same way as we treat products, in standardizing them and measuring their quality, and therefore building better and stronger relationships with our customers. There can be no doubt that Levitt was a deep and important thinker about the world of marketing. He never talked about the simple things, like how to market this product to this particular audience. He preferred the big themes. But as a manager, you need to understand those big themes. If you're to understand how the organizations you work in and with work. Please do give a thumbs up if you've learned from this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, keep learning.